retro arch this project? Will it work on a PlayStation Classic via Project Eris and OTG cables? Well, we'll find out. Now, for those who don't know, the Retro Arch Disc Project is something that Lib Retro made uh, relatively recently. They haven't updated it in a while. But the concept is you can use um, uh, optical uh, optical disc drive to um, load CDs, you know, official games, CD-ROMs from Saturn. PlayStation, uh, Turbo Graphics, and all that, Sega CD. So instead of ROMs, we can load the disc. And some people may find that useful. So here I burn a PlayStation 1 game as an example. And once we pop a disc in, we load a core. This is a PlayStation 1 game, so I'll, I'll load Beetle PSX. And currently it's only compatible with um, a few, well I load this and I will load the game like this. Um, it's only compatible with a few cores at the moment, Beetle PSX. So then you know um, the, the PSX, the PCSX rearm um, core, that one is not supported right now, but I'm sure it will eventually. And don't mind the... Um, the corrupted uh, logo there. It's weird, I had to um, rebuild the disc, but it's a long story. Uh, but here, as you can see, it's running from the, from the disc, you know. So then now, um, let's try this on a PlayStation Classic. See, now you know, at default, um, the PlayStation Classic Retro Arch, it doesn't have the, what you call it, it doesn't have the low disc um, icons. That's because we have to plug in plug it in via OTG cable. Now that we got that in, now when we re reboot, relaunch RetroArch, it should have the option. So let's try to load it here. Sony PlayStation Beetle PSX. And Sad to say, but currently, um, I don't think it's fully implemented. Cause for me to get this to work, I had to follow this um, this this guide by well, what's his name? Honey Lab. Well, I'll put provide a link in the description. But basically, I had to um, I had to push these. CD-ROM drivers into the kernel for to um, detect the CD, the optical drive. Yeah, so right now it just hangs and hangs and eventually it's gonna just exit out to the main boot menu. So I don't know what the deal is with that. I assume that, um, I assume that, that um, they have it fully implemented the retro arch this project in the um the PlayStation classic classic version of it. That's what I assume. But maybe in the future they will. So um but there is a workaround currently. Let me wait till it boots out. And the concept is using a program called Putty. Now what we do is the method I use is I mount the CD drive, the disc to a temp folder called CD-ROM. And when I mount it, you know, it'll show up on um, RetroArch as like a storage media, like when you insert a USB or something. So here, instead of opening the disc, 
I mean, it's still opening the disc, but I got a low content and I got to go to the, the, the directory where I mounted the, the disc, which is in the temp folder and then CD-ROM. Well, that's not how I do it. I was not going to be able to, it's reading as a data disc, you know, it shows the contents on the disc, but what I did was, um, hold on, let me unmount this. What I did was I burned a data disc with a bunch of ROMs, and then I just loaded up that way. So that's sort of a workaround. And there's probably script that you can kind of um, create an illusion where like when you put a disc in and then it'll just automatically boot up the PlayStation Classic um, emulator. But so let me remount it again. So this is just a regular CDR with a bunch of Super Nintendo ROMs. Uh, let me exit out of this. It's a good idea to restart. So now it's just going to read it like it's a regular storage media. Same as if you was to insert like a, a USB flash drive or something. Alright, let's try Super Nintendo. Tales of Fantasia. So same process, just got to load up the content and then the core, uh, yeah. And it's booting from the CD. So it does work in a way, but not how I would prefer it. I can even load um, PlayStation 1 games this way with this method. Dreamcast or whatever, it's just reading off the CD. Oh, and Beetle, the Beetle core is very slow on a PlayStation Classic, so I'll use the Rearm, the PCSX. So yeah, this method will work. Ulti ultimately, my goal is to, you know, um, use actual uh, PlayStation 1 disc or burn backups. And also I would like to uh, modify the case so I can insert the optical disc drive inside the PlayStation Classic. That would be neat. That's the goal I'm trying. But for now, this works pretty good. Take one step at a time, you know? Inch by inch. And if there's more interest, maybe more development will come out of this. But it does work though, I'm sure it does. So yeah, I just need a modify the case so that the, the lid flip open then somehow insert like some sort of mini DVD or something small enough to fit inside perfect size for two see well thanks for watching